Now in typical Disney Nuts fashion, if you've seen my clips, Spaceship Earth is 10 minutes and this is the official indicator of how crowded the parks are. Okay, the first one we're coming up to is right here across Spaceship Earth and it is the beautiful Daisy. And this is possibly, possibly a really good spot for photo ops as well. Here we go. Let's go to the next one. The cool thing of this one is that you actually got the monorail beam passing right on top of these two guys of Mater and Light McQueen. So if you want to park right here and shoot the monorail using a really cool long exposure during the day, this is a video. I'm going to put the link here right on the top so you can see what is it that I did. And this is how the shot looks. Up is Stitch, which is right here in front of Mission Space. And this provides for some awesome shots. For example, I took this one with the sunset and I gave it a little tilt like this. Actually, I stood right here and I took the shot. This is how this looks. Okay, here's the next guy, Figman, hanging out right over here at the entrance to the Journey of Imagination. So this is an awesome spot for him this year. And I think he was here actually for the um, food and wine uh, a couple of years ago. I think I took a couple shots of him. Obviously not with the flowers. The flowers I think they're new for this year. But this provides for an amazing shot as well. Okay, here's the one that's actually just before you get to the entrance of the World Showcase. It's been revealed. Here is Pluto with Goofy on the other side. This guy's huge. Awesome. So I walked back a little bit so you guys can give an idea of how huge this Goofy is. Look at this. Crazy. These used to be in the front, actually, and now they're here. And there's like a little present here for, uh, I guess, for someone. If you've ever wondered what the finished wall from the International Festival of the Art looks like, here it is. And the next one is Bambi. Now this one used to be right up in the front in the uh, flower bed that was right before the um, Leave a Legacies. So I guess they put her here now along with uh, Bumper over there. You got the rabbit and Winnie the Pooh. And a beautiful bed of flowers. Look at Alice. 
Okay, the next one is actually Captain Hook and Peter Pan and they're right here to the left side of where Alice meets, which is right over there. You can see the line that she has. And this was here last year, so it's basically in the same spot. But it provides for some awesome sunsets because you can see the sun actually coming down over here on the right side. Okay, now I will admit when you get to this pavilion, which is France, uh, do find it's going to be really crowded compared to the other one. So you just need to be patient and you'll be able to get your shot. Now again, uh, there's three sets of top areas in here. So uh, let's head inside. Let's go. And the first one that we're coming up to here is actually Kermit, which is an amazing photo opportunity. Here he is. He's got some bread, some baguettes and everything taking them as piggy, I guess. Okay, another really cool one is right over here, which is Miss Piggy. There she is. Okay, and the third top area that you'll find here in the France Pavilion is Beauty and the Beast, which is Belle and the Beast, and these are in the same location they were last year that do provide for some awesome photo opportunities. So make sure you hang around here and take some shots with them. Now for stuff like this, when there's people here, what I like to do is just come here to the side like this and shoot up in an angle. And that way you don't get these people in the shot and you can still take some good, um, awesome photos. Okay, the next pavilion that is up is the USA Pavilion and the top areas are right here in the center. Okay, we just arrived to the Italy Pavilion. And in this case, usually uh, Lady and the Tramp are usually here underneath this fountain. But this year they actually moved them across and they put them right over here, which provides for a really good photo op because um, you got Spaceship Earth in the back and all this other stuff. So let's go check it out. And as we leave the German Pavilion and walk towards the China Pavilion, uh, here's where we'll find the display of the Lion King, which is exactly the same spot from last year, so nothing different here. Now what I did notice is that Timon and Pumba, which used to be on this side, are not here. Okay, just before I get to China, I want to show here an update of the island that's here on the World Showcase Lagoon. You can see the update that they're doing for what is going to be replacing Illuminations. There's still no date of it, but that looks like a massive construction here, so it's going to be good. Okay, so the next pavilion uh, that has the top areas is actually the China Pavilion. So we're going to head in there and it's got this awesome dragon, which is the same one that's been for a couple of years, but it's always good to say hi to it. And, Take a couple shots and day or night, it looks awesome. Let's go inside. Okay, so we take a left as if we're going in towards the pavilion. We come up here to the dragon here on the water. And this is an awesome photo opportunity because you got all the reflections on the water if the wind is not making any movement on it.
Okay, the next pavilion up is in Norway and this one has a guy who's been here for a couple of years now actually and it's this troll right here and we all have them. We all have trolls on our account and this is the one I guess that follows me all around with those creepy yellow eyes. So um, here he is. Now, if this is the first time watching any of these videos, my name is Dizzy Nuts, and I do uh, theme park photography here as well as Universal. And also with my wife, we do food reviews and other stuff around the Central Florida area. So if you like what you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to get notified for the next time I post a video, which is usually every, every week or so. So until then, guys, stay awesome. See ya.